This is the Amazon rainforest, which for many years has been sheltering the different species living within its trees and rivers, hence known to us as the world's most biodiverse rainforest. It's also an important player in regulating the Earth's oxygen and carbon cycles. Indigenous people have used it as their primary source of water, food, and even called it their home. Yet, as modernity introduced urbanized areas, gratefulness was replaced with greed. People have cut down trees and flattened the Amazon's lush vegetation into suburbs. They had also polluted and overfished its plentiful rivers. Life in the Amazon is slowly dwindling. This environmental crisis does not only end in the Amazon. Globally, forests are on fire across the seven continents. Annual fires used to clear land for palm plantations are destroying the ancient rainforests of Kilimanjaro and Sumatra in Indonesia. Even Siberia and Alaska's once permafrost-covered terrain has turned green and has now been ravaged by enormous wildfires as well. And as the global alarm goes off, numerous questions are raised about why these forests are burning and who is to blame. The answer is complex, but at the root of it all, a destructive combination of climate change and reckless land use will surely end in demise. Forests are vanishing at an alarming rate, with each minute, 58 acres are destroyed, all to meet our human needs and to make our world a quote-unquote convenient place. This is why it's time to act now. Yes, now. For there might be no tomorrow left for us due to the grave conditions Earth's rainforests are currently experiencing. Wildlife and various tree species are nearing complete extinction. Even indigenous inhabitants of these lands are being displaced leaving them hungry as they are rid of their livelihoods. Our supply of breathable air is also being affected as the amount of carbon dioxide increases in our atmosphere, relatively suffocating us soon enough. Is this the world you would want the next generation to see? At this point, could we even afford to be ignorant when the facts clearly show how little time we have left? This is why it is highly important to heighten the voices of those individuals and groups that actively choose to love the earth unconditionally and find ways to contribute to the environment. The earth may be on the brink, but it's not too late to save it, similar to what a selected yet special group of people is doing. While their efforts may not always be broadcasted and seen in mainstream media, supporting these numerous environmental organizations could contribute to the ongoing fight of healing Earth's lands. Answering these organizations' calls to action while encouraging other individuals who share the same passion and purpose can also help in pushing this initiative forward. In the Philippines, there are 12 notable environmental groups that notably have done amazing work in ensuring the condition of our country's land resources. These organizations are the Society for the Conservation of Philippine Wetlands Incorporated, Philippine Business for the Environment, Foundation for the Philippine Environment, Center for Sustainability PH Incorporated, Ecological Society of the Philippines, Haribon Foundation, Forest Foundation Philippines, Water Environment Association of the Philippines Incorporated, Pollution Control Association of the Philippines Incorporated, the Philippine Reef and Rainforest Conservation Foundation Incorporated, I Volunteer Philippines, and Phil and Con Office. And as the climate crisis gets serious, it's important to remember that hope is not lost, especially when individual and organizational efforts connive. It may not be easy to solve these environmental issues, but contributing via small changes every day can surely strengthen our faith that we could be triumphant in this cause. This is also the hope of the United Nations when they were compelled to initiate the 2030 Agenda for Sustainable Development in order to re-establish the world's overall status free of hardships and inequality. Focusing their agendas on the 17 Sustainable Development Goals, it aims to address both environmental and social issues in a global context, ranging from poverty to contributing to global partnership. Among the 17 Sustainable Development Goals is one that focuses on the long-overlooked issue of biodiversity loss, as well as prioritizing land-based life. The 15 Sustainable Development Goal Life on Land is focused on safeguarding, restoring, and promoting sustainable use of terrestrial ecosystems, managing forests sustainably, preventing desertification, and halting along with reversing land degradation. 
Forests cover roughly 31% of the planet's land area and are a big contributor to the air people breathe, the water they drink, and the produce which then becomes the food they eat can all be traced back to its trees and rivers. In fact, around 1.6 billion people rely on trees for their various needs, which explains why nearly 75 of the world's poor are directly impacted by land degradation. Apart from this, forests are also home to over 80% of all terrestrial animal and insect species. Yet, with deforestation and the development of agricultural lands thrown in the mix, 8% of this 8,300 recognized species are now extinct, while 22% are endangered, furthering the urgency of preserving these ecosystems. Through promoting the Life on Land Sustainable Development Goal, an impact on our environment can be felt, as it promotes conservation for both the said land and its biodiversity. At these recent times, it is undeniable that the world has undergone alarming changes, and no one is more accountable for these changes than humans. That being said, it is of utmost importance to contribute in resolving these problems no matter how intimidating or even to a point impossible they are. You can start with finding a charity you want to support. Any donation, big or small, can make a difference. Reducing your use of paper. Practice recycling. Venture into food composting. Helping in the conservation and cleanliness drives of your local parks and forests. Avoid using pesticides in order to protect and sustain the quality of soil and volunteer in tree planting programs wherein it prioritizes planting native trees suitable for your area. And of course, stay informed. Follow local news and stay in touch with the developments being implemented under the 7 SDGs via the Global Goals website or their social media accounts at the Global Goals. Hopefully by 2030, as world leaders meet, and determine the state of the planet, the goal of the United Nations in halting desertification, working towards a land degradation-free environment, adverting biodiversity loss, and assuring ecosystem conservation will be met, and shall usher the world into a sustainably development era wherein future generations can benefit from the gifts bestowed upon them by our planet. Sadly, the reality is that unless immediate and effective actions are taken, the opposite effect will happen and living standards will begin to decline by 2030, with one-third of the world's forests having already been destroyed by 2030, it is projected that 70% of the world's forests will be at risk of degradation. And with that being said, there has never been a more pressing need to restore these destroyed lands than now. We cannot deny that human activity is the primary cause of these damages, yet it is people's obliviousness and ignorance as well as the consequences of their exploitative activities that devastated our environment. It is absolutely crucial that we take a position and begin taking action in resolving these environmental crises. While it is true that each and every individual on this planet is accountable for the damages they have caused, it is government institutions as well as private corporations and businesses are the ones who should lead in the restoration and reformation activities, such as passing laws and putting up protocols that will enact as environmental guidelines and enforcement. That being said, the responsibility of caring for and ensuring the destiny of our planet now rests on our shoulders, especially based on our actions as humans. Whether you take the opportunity to contribute to the needs of our environment, no matter how small, is completely up to you. This also goes with demanding accountability from both national and international governments as well as private companies. The Earth's fate is now in our own hands. It is for us to decide where we want to be in the year 2030.